Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video I will be building the Lego City Police Car set number 60239. I picked up this Lego set for £5 from a from a supermarket that begins with M. And if I got or Morrison's if anyone's wondering. So I I picked this up because the Lego police stuff is generally quite cool and I generally quite like it and always fancy going to the police station but it will happen one day. I do think this police car does look quite nice so it's, so it's definitely worthy of a build. So we have a reasonable sized book with it. We have two bags and the police car comes with two cones as well so I'll put the stickers up there for the time being. And this is the back of the box, nothing, there's no other builds on it on this one. But that's all good. So right, starters will open the bags. Open the bags carefully so it makes it easier when you've got to put them back in. There's the there's the small bag. The main bag. And let the fun begin. First of all we got to build the policeman. He can only come with one face. He comes with some standard Police, standard American police sunglasses and a baseball cap. It's one of the newer ones, so try and find his legs. They've got to be in there somewhere. There we go. Have one police officer just waiting for his car, so we'll put him here a minute. I'm sure he'll wait politely for his car. So. Make make the cones, traffic cones for him. These are quite nice nice traffic cones, so make it a bit a bit harder to lose than they were, than they used to be. So now we're gonna make the car now. So we use the base plate first. Then we have to put find the first four plates. There's one, and there's the other one. A nice um, dark blue four plate, four by one flat plate like that. On the bottom, flip that over like that. We have that so far. These are going to be the, the that's going to be the, the the base the bases for the lighting unit at the back. We have a yellow steering wheel for the car. And a yellow backrest on the back of it as well. Front bits. This bit has a normal lighting unit on the front, like so. This will be the basis for the wheel arches. And we have the Yep, these are going on right there. Sli 
there are slight um, inc there's slight different heights. I'm just going to double check that's right because yeah, that is right according to the sheet. So. I think they're trying to make the back end heavier on this one because now we've got a few more bits to put on here. This is the bit that holds the police officer in his in the car. Now we have the bits on the side, and it's sticker time. We have we, now we have to make sure people know it's a police car, and we have the stickers for it. There we go, it now says police on both sides, so everyone knows it's a police car. Next, make this a bit where the police car goes in. There will be no open doors on this, on this particular model. Put the wheel arches on now. Hopefully they're all the same size. Now we got to find the speedo part now. So stick that on there. Yeah, we've got these got a speed on if you look you can see there's a speedometer now on the speedometer and a rev counter I would I would assume. Now we've got to build a lighting unit, so we'll put that there in a minute. So start off with one of these, which is quite a new style of brick, but it's quite quite cool. Unfortunately I don't get time to custom build. Oh no this is Ooh, nearly there we go. I think my fingers are getting too big for doing this sort of thing but one of these and we stick a number plate on here now here we have the back of the police car it has its own number plate as you can see which is quite nice so it just goes on the back Put that there a minute. Work on the next part now, which I think is, which I believe to be the bonnet. The 
if you do the air intake for the what now this is the back now this isn't the bonnet I do apologize I've This will be the back part of the police car, which is. So I would say this is a rear engine police car from the look of the back of this, and the styling of it. So. And this goes on the back, should all fit. Just hold it all together on the back like so. This is a, this this is done with quite a sporty looking police car, so now we put the white bits on the side here like so. There we go. This it's looking good so far. The back is looking quite nice. Now we have the wind we have the windshield on there now, so I'm gonna put that down there. We're gonna build the next part now, which is the front bumper. Which is so initially the same as the other one. Right, just put the white these bits on here. A couple of clear bits on here, so definitely the front of the car due to the colour of the lights. A couple of blue lights at the flashing blue lights at the front, which which as any car driver doesn't like to see flashing. There's the grill for it, and we have a number plate to put on the front here as well, which goes on the on the curved bumper. Stick this on the front here. There we go. That's the front of the police car now, looking quite nice. Now we have the bonnet pieces now, which requires a sticker. I've misplaced something in my excitement of the build, so let me double check the instructions because I think I have.
gone wrong somewhere here. Yeah, trying to work out. Oh, I see. There we go. There we go. That's the front of the police car looking the looking like it should do now. The corner bits go on here. These bits go on here, so I'm going to smooth that off. A couple more nice curved bits, which are quite nice. I'll we'll have to this this is smoothed off the front of the police car quite nicely. Some they go put I've introduced some new bricks since I've been building this sort of thing, so which is quite nice. Now we have the roof of the a roof for the police car. Seems to have a spare bit as well at the moment, so there we go, it's looking good. I think I put a wrong bit in somewhere. I seem to have misplaced a bit somewhere, just trying to work out where I've misplaced it. And then we should have a police car. I've sussed out where I've done gone wrong. Seem to have put the siren on the front on the front of the police car by mistake. So there we go. We'll stick this bit on here. All adds to the fun. Fortunately, these bits stick together. So. Go back to the roof again. Have the siren get the blues and twos go on top, and we have four wheels to put on one, two, three, four. The wheels go on sporty side, sporty side out. few spare bits as well so we'll put, put the policeman in his car there we go he's going into his car now and he's ready he is now ready to fight crime on the on the streets of Legoland in his rather sporty looking police car he goes he had his traffic cones as well there isn't room in the police car for them a bit of a shame but Still looks bit, I think it still looks very cool, especially when you compare it to the. To, if you look at the original police cars they had, this is a an amazing improvement, and it does look really sporty and really nice. 
very much based on the um, the uh, the Speed Champion series a little bit. I feel quite nice looking, quite a nice looking vehicle, even though it's a police car, but very nice though. Right, thank you for watching. Please like, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and thank you for watching. And I look for, I look. And I look forward to see, seeing you in my next video. Thank, thank you very much. Bye.